Thus far, we've only seen the usage of a single quantifier with predicate statements. In practice, we have much more complicated statements we want to say. So for example, you might want to say every pair of integers adds to be an integer. Or something like this, where you have clearly two things going on. And there might be some way to write this down with other predicates, but in practice you're talking about two things, right? Two different integers add to be a different integer. So, to write something like this down, you can do multiple quantifiers. You could say, for every x that is an integer, and for every y that is an integer, something is true. So, this x and y are my integers. It says every pair of integers adds to be an integer. So this is for every x and for every y, x plus y is also an integer. In practice, lots of mathematical statements are going to look like this, and we're going to see a ton of these statements as we go forward, but you can theoretically have more than one quantifier. Let's talk about how you can combine the quantifiers, which is where this starts to get really easy to mess up. So our next statement is every... Rational number is the quotient of two integers. The way they would write this down is it says every rational number. So we start by saying something like for all rational numbers. So I'm going to say for all q in q we written as the quotient of two integers. So two integers means I'm going to need to say that there are two integers. Notice I said there are. So I'm going to say there exists. I need to say that there exists two integers. So there exists an A that is an integer. And there exists a B that is an integer. So there exists a B that is an integer. I did something slightly different here. And it is a preference thing. I wrote a comma after that there exists. You're allowed to write commas after these if you want to. You don't need to, but if I'm going to do that, I should probably write them everywhere. So you could say for all, comma, there exists, comma, there exists. So it says for every rational number, there's these two integers, a and b. And I want to write that q is the quotient of those. If you want to be really precise here, it didn't say it in the problem, but you should probably also add that b isn't zero because you don't want to divide by zero. So maybe we add and b isn't equal to zero. Even though the original statement didn't say that, if we're trying to be mathematically precise and write down an actually true statement, maybe we should include that as well. We'll see more examples of this, but I wanted to comment on this before we do some actual examples of trying to interpret these, because what's more common is that you're gonna see a statement like this and want need to interpret it in some way. So for now, we're just gonna do these simple examples and we'll see some of these later, as well as we'll see other ones and comment on what are they actually trying to say.